I was so amazed. I it wasn't I didn't know what to expect, but it was just awesome. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. I could not imagine rock and roll mixed with ballet. The music was awesome. The dancers and the singers were really good together. It was funny, it was dramatic, and I really hope I get to see it again. When you commit your whole soul to creating songs in a stage production, you can't help but feeling nervous about whether people are going to relate to it. We were stunned when four completely different audiences got to their feet and gave our workshops for the Fix Rock Opera a standing ovation. It was an indescribable high watching audiences leap out of their chairs and yell for more. You can help us bring it to them. Look what we did with a committed cast and crew and a little bit of grant funding and imagine what we could do with a real budget. as a clinical outreach coordinator for Cumberland Heights Treatment Center. We supported FIX by uh, setting up a booth and talking to the patrons of the rock opera about uh, substance abuse and substance abuse treatment options. There was a mother who came up to me after one of the rock operas at the Tucker Theater and she said that uh, my son has a problem and we were able to advocate for him and get him out of jail and get him into treatment where he needed to be and get her set up with what she needed to then go on and be a healthy support for him. Vincent, you're back! Gee, we sure didn't think we'd see you here again. What did you feel, or how did you feel, or what did you think um, when you found out that that Tucker Theater show that you did, that two people went into rehab from that show? I it was actually disbelief at first. I couldn't believe that somebody came to the show and was that affected by it, and just just because that's a huge step. That's you know admitting all kinds of things in that first walking through the door. Don't need no trouble with the law. Sometimes I think about the prohibition and religion, people mad, superstition, sugar, sex, cigarettes, everybody place your best, medication, legislation, we don't need no education, but this be the growing nation of the fabric of creation, has bread and black and chain, give the kids a bread and God save the child. When I was first approached to do this production, I thought it was a great opportunity because of the theme. Um, of course, it's called Fix, and it's, it's a story about a character named Vincent and how um, addiction impacts his life. It didn't take a lot for me to relate to that. We all have family or friends or people that we know that do have addiction issues, and it changes our lives. It was a song that was easy for me to bring to life.
one of the fix workshops got standing ovations from a Nashville crowd famous for giving the golf clap. How did that feel? This is very encouraging. It uh, tells me that Nashville is open to different and very modern kind of way of doing art performance art particularly. So for audiences that have been supporting Swan Lake for years, standing up for a rock opera about addiction is very encouraging to me. watched the movie Black Snake Moan it was kind of based on a girl who was addicted to sex so um, watching it definitely uh, made it almost almost too easy to, to, to find what Arson Girl needed to be. The movements and the lyrics of the dancing, very amazing. I was touched, I was moved. The dancers were extremely hot. I'm taking three of them home this evening. Thank you. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Annette, you brought the house down when you sang Mad. How did you come to that emotional place when you were singing, my God? You know, you have to think about the character and what the character's going through. And, and being angry is a very emotion, easy emotion to get to. The character that was playing the nurse, whose character I was singing, um, there was a moment at the end of one of the performances when I just finished my song, I look back at her and we were both in the exact same like physical stance and our eyes connected and it was sort of like, boom, that character was born. It was a very emotional moment, not only for us, but for the audience as well. <laughs> such a thing for either, so I'm really excited. Shut 
see myself for the first time. It was great. This was my second time seeing it. It was phenomenal. I normally don't go to musicals and get into them, but I really thought this was great, and the music kicked ass. Okay. Everybody needs to see Fix because that's power change a lot. Nashville in Motion and the Peter Moon Band will present Fix on October 1st at the Ingram Theater in Nashville to benefit the Second Wind Foundation, a program that assists in the recovery process of returning military veterans. With your continued support, we can change lives through the power of music, dance, laughter, hope, and recovery. If you'd like to donate to, sponsor, or invest in this project, please contact Margaret Frank at Gathering Stones Music, 615-650. 8615 or visit us at www.fixrockopera.net Thank you so much